Welcome to the Annotated Bibliography section of the Multiple Source Essay. Remember, the Annotated Bibliography is for you. It is a tool to use so that when you are researching a large project, you can easily find the information you need by making notes about the citation as you enter it into your project. This is very easily done with EasyBib. You can also remember you can create a bibliography from scratch if you like. Textbook information is included in this course in the textbook. But let's look at this uh, assignment page together. Here we are in the assignment page, which we located by going to the left menu bar to course assignments. These are the objectives. This is a working definition for annotated bibliography. This is a wonderful tutorial that takes you step by step through the process. I actually create an annotated bibliography myself and you go along with me and I show you how to do that on EasyBib. Uh, this is a little tutorial on how to find those resources that you'll be uh, citing in this. MLA 8, remember, and the rubric is located here. When you click on this folder, you will see the format for the bibliography that you are to follow when you create your annotated works cited page. There's the PDF for that. Let's go back to the assignment pages. After you followed all of the instructions, completed your work and are ready to submit. You scroll past the rubric, grade rubric, and submit the PDF here. Remember, you're going to put everything together. What you're going to create in EasyBib is going to be a Word document, but then you'll finish that out with this format, and when you complete that, you will save it as a PDF, and that way everything will stay intact. It won't mess up your formatting everything will come out just perfect. So the takeaways from this are to remember that this is for you and it demonstrates to me your understanding of an annotated bibliography. Instructions are included in the course. You can also go to the textbook if you prefer learning from the textbook and study the information found there. That concludes this welcome tutorial to the annotated bibliography.